You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I am back from last year with Scott Holmes. Welcome, Scott. Thank you, Mark. Summerfest year five. Year five of the return. Okay. Um, one of the guys at the meeting wore a 2011 shirt, bright, I don't know if you remember them, bright orange, mm -hmm. everything's uh, retro to the 70s and uh, brought back a lot of memories. And you know, the, you know the story about why Summerfest came back was um, actually Kathy Smith mm -hmm. um, and community schools went through and we're going to celebrate the 40th for the high school, mm -hmm. for, for uh, community schools. And they said, okay, let's bring Summerfest back for a year. So we did it. It was successful uh, through community schools. And so we got together afterwards and people said, let's do this again. And that's why we do it. And the biggest reason that I think that most people, um, we have a core group of about 10 people that, that come uh, and are involved. But the most of the reasons is because they want to give back to the community and they want it to be free for kids. Mm -hmm. And it is. And not only is it free for kids, but you got a rain or shine plan. If it's nice outside and it's hot like it's been, because like it, it's, yeah. it's never rain for the fight. Not this summer. And we're gonna, well, we don't have wood, but we can't knock. But um, you do have an indoor plan. There are two other cafeterias that aren't part of the plan unless it rains. Correct. So you can go inside. You've been involved in all of it, Scott. You've done, you did first night. You, you were involved in Summer Sunday, from what I remember, and the hiatus between Summerfest Fest. 1 and Summerfest 2. Right. What do you do it? Uh, I always felt, and my family asked that same question, and the reason that I do it is just to give back to the community. Much like yourself, you've, you've been a part and a fabric of the community of Brockton. Um, you have been, you're virtually at every event. You, um, you give back as much as you possibly can, and I've always felt that when you live in a community, your, the quality of life is only as good as what you put into it, mm -hmm. and other people uh, benefit from it. Uh, back when uh, we had all the uh, neighborhood crime watches, if, I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm. what was that, the late 90s? Yeah. Um, when crime was rampant and everybody was a little bit, a little bit scared, uh, crime watches became a very big thing, and it got neighbors together, and they, they got together. Um, first night came out of kind of that Mm -hmm. um, at that same time, when we did first night up at the high school, because people wanted somewhere to go. So they wanted a positive. And I think bringing something positive to the city of Brockton has always been something that I think you've always felt much the same way I have, is that you wanted to make sure that people had a very positive image of it. Brockton, in and of itself, may have 100,000 people, but it's a very small town. Everybody seems to know everybody, virtually. Um, the the same 250 people. people that you see on a regular basis, <laughs> that you, although that's grown with the different groups that have, you know, the different, uh, like the Cape Verdean Association, yep. Asian Community Partners, SHOOP, all of them. There's so many activities, sometimes they crash into each other. I don't know how you keep track of everything through BCA and, and keeping track of uh, the calendar. I have always said that we need a calendar, a community calendar. That's why we do this. A community calendar on a nightly basis because in any night during the city, you could go to any number of events. Mm -hmm. No one could say there isn't anything to do in Brockton, that's yeah. for sure. And We're most trying of to bring that calendar back. Uh, Phil White, who was Rotary, passed away. Oh, he bought the domain okay. name for brocktoncalendar.com. It's going to expire soon. <laughs> We're hoping to get it. And the city's doing a good job putting the calendar up. The schools do a good job, but it's still not enough. There's so many different groups. We, we're lucky. We get people posting messages on the bulletin board. So sometimes that's how we find out about it. Sometimes people call. We had a call today. Can you do something Saturday night? Well, we'd love to, except if I knew about it, I could have staffed it. Okay? Right. And then we depend on volunteers just like you do. You have 10 that do this. I know you have a community school advisory board. Are you still on that as well? Oh, well, I, I have had to give it up. Um, you, were other people. you were I a was, lifer. Yeah, I, w I was a lifer and I, because I thought it was very good uh, for the community. It spawned on a lot of things, one of them being Summerfest. And, you know, we've encouraged or try to encourage everybody to come out. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to give an hour for, as, for volunteers, if you want to give an hour, if you want to give the day, the day is ten, the, August 20th, 10 to 4. We want uh, as many people as possible there. 
it's free. Afterwards, go to the pool if you want, because the pool's open at a regular time at 1 o'clock. Bring the kids up, bring them in their bathing suits. There is a million things for them to do. Uh, between face painting and um, they're going to leave with a bag of things of arts and crafts from all the different organizations that are involved. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a bus that turns into a, it's literally a bus, a 40 foot bus, and it turns into a um, activity center for kids. Mm. And they go through it, um, they travel from city to city. Uh, we're having free ice cream at 11 o'clock. We're Free ice cream giveaway. How many places do you go to give away free ice cream, right? I guess that's staff break time for us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and I hope so. Uh, every year we run out. They say they're going to be there two hours, but within an hour, they run out. They mm -hmm. are chock full. They come jam. They know that there are going to be 5,000 people there, and they usually run out. They're going to be the sports, uh, Brockton sports teams. So there's going to be field hockey. There's going to be football. There's going to be baseball. There's going to be softball. There's going to be um, girls field hockey. Um, they're going to they're going to give those exhibitions. Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. um, uh, every year they sign up people because they don't know where to go to to sign up for Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, and the like. They are, um, you know, you, no matter what you thought. And I, w I was a Cub Scout and a Boy Scout growing up. Mm -hmm. um, you learn a lot. Leadership, and, truth, preparedness, all of that. They're, everything that the reason you're here today. Boy Scouts behind the camera right over there, and uh, I, the two Boy Scouts I hired, good move. Um, wood carvers, are they back? The wood carvers? Wood carvers, absolutely. Because that's a popular one. People stand in line. Line for that. For that. They, and they, it's amazing. If you, if you give five, ten minutes and stand there and watch them, it's amazing how they turn a, a, just a piece of wood and turn it into a bowl, a, a, a cup, a, a, virtually anything. Um, I'm always amazed. I always thought it was for dowels, and you mm -hmm. turn... But they can make absolutely anything out of it. They are, it's, it's pretty neat to sit and watch them. A number of uh, civic organizations are going to be there. They're going to be giving out literature. Um, Fields, Fields Park Association. Uh, the library is going to be there. The, um, the, there are a number of churches involved. And everything, absolutely everything is free. Except we do have some vendors that will sell We'll sell their knickknacks and, and heard about crafts. the free lunches from Gene Rowan. So free, free lunches, 450 free lunches, and uh, anyone under the age of 18, they get a band, they go through, 11 to 1, they go in, get um, get a lunch, can't beat it. So you virtually don't have to spend a penny. Plus, with all the entertainment we have, we have a full day. We have two stages this year. Mm -hmm. um, we have a full day of I think there are almost 20 performers. Uh, I got 25, and 25. Nancy Crucius did the whole list. Oh my gosh. So we're going to package all three of these together in one show, and then give them to Lauren, put them up on your Summerfest Brockton Facebook, so people can see it if they Very don't nice. have cable, because there are some people that don't. Shocking um, as that um, is, yeah. Actually, there's a lot in Brockton, because, <laughs> uh, um, you know, economics and all that stuff. But um, So one more time for the phone number for volunteers. Phone number is 508. 584-2506. It's Bill Mugali. Uh, Bill has been kind of the backbone of, of all this through the Brockton Youth uh, Foundation. He has um, really kind of spearheaded and, and gathered all, all this goodwill together to, in order to make... Um, well, we, want you, we want people all to this go. come together. I, they gave me the cue, so I'm going to say goodbye. You and I can talk for two years. So, Scott, thank you. Thanks Mark, for thank doing you what much. you're doing. Um, Summerfest Brockton 2016, Saturday, August 20th, 10 to 4. You're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.